Hey, normal 10-year-old Garrett, think fast. Okay. Back then, game was actually 7 was equal to 26. The equation of life is the equal to 42. The Roman island of English penguins do have an equal to 39217219. There's an alphabet number. Nobody actually knows where the Back in Roman times, we got our alphabet from the Romans. I see no re- uh! Hi, I'm the Emerald G. I'll be your Patreon today. It may look like I know what I'm doing, but I can reassure you. I have no idea. So strap in for an adventure of a lifetime. The RLG here. I looked at the camera. Shh. I don't really want to yell for volume, so I have a microphone right here. That's probably really loud for you guys. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Anyway, 10 year olds. <laughs> Trump remembers doing something very stupid when they were young. Well, here's my story. When I was about like 10 and I was in 5th grade, it was like, it was, it was actually because I remember, because my dad shared something on Facebook about me it happening and he said, hey, Facebook just reminded me about this recent event. And that recent event happened nearly, uh, so, it ha hey. Hey, I think, wait, okay. I think it happened in 2015? I was going to say 2015, when I was in fifth grade. Anyway, it was, you know, Thursday, and then there was a half day Friday. And that half day was actually a field trip to what we were learning was we were learning erosion, and yes... I said in the comedy thing that we weren't learning well, but our science, our teacher said, hey, let you not screw it. Let's actually boost them up and see if they can do erosion. We did. I learned a lot about erosion. Like, uh... <coughs> anyway, besides the point, we learned a lot about uh, erosion, and we went to go see a canyon or, like, a thing made by erosion. Now, before this field trip, me and my friend... Uh, the same friend that couldn't speak language, uh, he was, you know, non-languageized. But, you know, in fifth grade he was languageized. Me and him had a sleepover on Thursday, and we stayed up all night. And we thought, well, we're pretty much just going to go to school and go on the bus. We can sleep on the bus or at school before we go to the bus. Because we got, we got to school at 8 o'clock, and we, like, had to wake up at 6 and if we got ready before night, so we did, we could just wake up, pop our stuff on, and just... Now, here's the problem with that. In the textbooks, it said that this ravine was five feet deep. Now, we read it wrong. It was five feet deep in... 1500s. Erosion had made it another length. Yay! So, you know, we're on the bus. We went to sleep. We woke up because somebody woke us up. We're groggly. And all we hear is our teacher say, five feet, blah, blah, blah. We think he said the ravine is five feet deep. No, he said the five feet, the ravine is five feet wide. Basically, what happened is, he, we weren't supposed to do anything. What we were supposed to do is, sorry, I'm getting off track. We were supposed to do is, we were supposed to do some papers, like, about the ravine. But we completely forgot to bring the papers. So instead, my teachers being the cool, awesome people they were, we had one that was like, oh yeah, sure, okay. And one was like, no! The one that was all cool decided, let's see who can get across the ravine. But we had this little fun thing. 
Edison, we had all the rules. We had 20 rules about the ravine that they made up quickly. And every single one of them was a rule you can break, but you were allowed, you and your, you were allowed to choose one rule to break to help you get across the ravine. Now, here's what we were supposed to do. Basically, they were supposed, what, what one team did is one people organized, and there's tons of things about, like rules like don't mess with the wildlife, meaning don't mess with the trees, don't pick up items, don't be stupid, don't blah blah what these people thought of to get over the ravine is for you students pick the the rule against going out of the perimeter and since you're allowed to go out the perimeter you're allowed to bring one person with you so what they did is one person brought somebody who's allowed to make loud noises because we weren't supposed to be loud because it was scared of the wildlife but to help you know make sure snakes were not there go back and then grab somebody who's able to pick up items somebody who's able to messed with the wildlife, and two people that were able to go in the perimeter, meaning everybody was able to go out, bring back stuff to go over the ravine. Now, here's the rule me and my friends picked. Being the stupid children, we automatically pick the don't be stupid rule, and meaning we thought in this way. This is what we thought. If we take this rule, and we're breaking accidentally another rule, we can just say we're being stupid and breaking our original rule. So, pretty much an infinite rule-breaking rule. Now, we were actually, like, too hard with this thing because whilst everybody, we went over a bridge to see it, to see, we actually saw what's in the ravine. We didn't. Me and my friend did. We were asleep. It was 30 miles to the nearest road and then 30 miles to the hospital. And saying that has enough suspicion to know that something bad happened. So, me and my friend being the stupid idiots we were, decided to let's jump it because nobody else is doing that. We should have stopped and realized people were doing this kind of motion. Oh, dang it. What? That's what? Ah! We thought in our minds it was five feet. It was five feet across, but you know, we run, we run, we're running, and we jump. You know, we're running and we jump here. Like, we're running, we jump, and we're jumping, and then mid fly, we look down. I realized that five feet ravine where I think we're jumping is actually a 16 feet ravine with a good amount of four feet of water at the bottom. So. <laughs> Didn't make the jump. Me and my friend fell. And my friend fell like this. I, on the other hand, fell like this. So when we got, when the teachers got us out, like before the teachers even got us out of the ravine, me, my brother, my friend, my friend, my friend was not responding because he hit his leg, he has, he has his foot on the bottom, and I think he blacked out or just kind of fell down in pain or like something, but he wasn't responding. He was just kind of like, and I was like, ow, 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 ow. And what was even funnier was the teachers were up there, and the nice one was all like, no, the, the non-cool one was like, oh my gosh, they, they might be hurt. And the other one was like, what if their parents sue the school? Because we don't care about the children's health. <laughs> anyway, they get us out of the ravine. Whoop. And they say, well, you didn't make it across the ravine, but you made it halfway to the ravine. So, like, and we were like, do we get a half treat? And they're like, well, you get a half ride to the nearest road and then a half ride to the nearest hospital. So, like, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. So, yeah, that's the most stupidest story I have. Uh, let's see. I literally have a list of things I'm doing stupidly stuff. And today was that uh, ravine story. Uh, you know, being ravine story. Uh, tomorrow is actually going to be a funner one. going to be a sickness story, because everybody hates sickness. 
Everyone hates them. Everyone hates getting sick. Everyone hates being sick. It's the worst feeling, and it should just go die. I'm sorry. I should probably be up here, because you can see my face. Down here, you can't really see my face that well. Well, I'm still looking at that. My face... Uh, why do I have a YouTube channel? I don't know. Who gave me the YouTube channel? I don't know. Who made me eligible to get a YouTube channel? I'm stupid. I'm bad. I... Fabulous. Anyway, that's all I have for now, people. But just remember, we got zero subscribers today. Because, you know, no dedication. <laughs> our, remember, our goal for this month of October is to get six more subscribers. And the rest for this year is to get 40 subscribers if you guys can hit 50 subscribers here how about this on my 25th subscriber milestone how about this 25 milestone if you guys can get to the 25 milestone within this year i will do some stupid thing where i go out and buy weird candy or something i don't know buy some weird fruit or food or buy some weird thing and try it and if we hit the 50 subscriber milestone i'll do a live stream and if it's around christmas we'll do a live stream of me and if it's christmas in general i'm just gonna do a live stream of me listening to music and if anybody copyrights me on the live stream i could just say well here i'm gonna say all of the music is not mine and i will say who it is who made the music before I do it. Bitches. Oh, by the way, this is actually, this is French uh, middle finger. This is American, no, wait, this is American middle finger. This is French middle finger. Story about that is, you know, stuff. Okay. <laughs> I'm being stupid. Anyway, uh, bye all my beauty and beats. I'll see you later. This is the Emerald G signing out. Okay. <laughs>